Hey guys, welcome back to Winding Road Magazine. I'm Tedward and this is a Jeep that I actually really like. Hear me out. I know a lot of people have weird gripes with the Gladiator, but this is the Mojave spec. And that changes the game because we've got these beefy remote reservoir Fox shocks. So what's special about this is think of this as more of like a smaller Raptor. This is the first desert rated Jeep and you've got this remote reservoir all the way up front. And then within this shock, there's another shock because your bump stops are actually hydraulic. How cool is that? So you can actually jump this thing and not worry too, too much about bottoming out at least the front suspension. In the rear, we still have remote reservoirs as well. So there's our shock and there's our reservoir. Let's take a look around. This one is optioned out quite heavily. So it's probable that you wouldn't spend $61,000 on your Jeep, but this has all the toys. They've got front facing camera, adaptive cruise control, the light package, 33 inch tires, paint matched cab and fenders, all the goodies. But what makes the Gladiator very practical is the bed. Now it's not a full size pickup truck, but if you don't need too much space, this will do the job just fine. So there's some uh, Velcro straps that you can hold that back and you know, it's reasonable. This would do pretty much everything I needed to do. Could probably hang a couch out the back. And when you close it, you get a very satisfying click. Nice. Pardon some of the dirt. Obviously, you saw in the last video, we went off-roading with this and it was a lot of fun. It does that well. Inside, very roomy, very spacious. This is our Monroney. And lots of additional storage space under the rear seats. Plenty of room for a full-size adult, which I think I'm full-size. 5'9", five, 5'10", five, sure. And of course, what makes this so special is that you can take the roof off of your Gladiator. You can't do that in any other pickup truck as far as I know. $555 option for the padded roof. Uh, you know, there's it's easy to bring this back down toward its $43,000 base price. But what's most surprising, ooh, a ladybug, hello. What's most surprising about this Jeep is its road manners. Uh, I've never been a big Wrangler fan, and when we get out there, I'm gonna show you on-road, both bumpy, miserable, American, rural roads, and highway. Pop up the windows for sound. And this panel switch, if you remember the PT Cruiser, has the exact same layout. Not my favorite, um, not because of the location, but because these buttons, they seem to have been designed as a horizontal button, up, down, and vertically. It's very odd to like push this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, maybe you love it. comes from a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6, which is actually kind of nice. And there's no fake sounds being piped in through the cabin or anything like that. So it is organic, although it may not be the greatest sound in the world, but $2,000 option added on this one is this eight speed automatic ZF. Easy to knock that off if you like driving a manual Jeep, but 
if you need them, if you need an automatic, this is a this is a nice box. This is enjoyable to drive, and it's never really gear hunting. It does the thing. Maybe you do a little bit of off roading, not crazy crazy stuff, but you also live in American roads where there's potholes and poor construction and you're sick of listening to your beautiful BMW or sports car squeak and creak its way to its death at 100,000 miles because you've hit all of this junk. Well, with something like the Gladiator Mojave, you don't have to worry too much. You can pretty much drive on all of it. crazy amount of road noise from these tires, but once we get to the junky part of the road, it'll start to shine. Also steering, it's amazing what Jeep and FCA have been able to do with this live front axle. This is an enjoyable driving experience. That's not something I usually associate with their products uh, of the Wrangler sort of category. funny, you basically need a pre-runner to drive American roads now. that the auto brake feature is warning us of cars that are parked on the side of the road. I'll be honest, not much makes my heart stop, but a giant thing that says brake in the middle of the screen, yeah. Give Telward a little jolt. Did they pave the worst road out here? Let's see how far it went. Thank God. So in this, that road doesn't look too outrageous, but I'll tell you, I came down here in that 98 E36 M3 the other day, and I, I don't think I showed any of it because I had to drive 10 miles an hour to not break the car.
If you made it to the end, comment Strada, S-T-R-A-D-A, and I've got something special coming soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.